here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, so can I can I can I make a context roll that I know this late this this uh this guy, Gray? Yep, but it's gonna be a hard one. So. Okay, so would that be charisma socialize plus context? Yeah. One, two, three, four. That's just ah, eh. counting is hard. One, yeah, two, I'm gonna say this is a five. Four, five. Because he's one of the, the top ranking guys. Uh, we'll see what happens. I may not. Ah, uh, missed by one. No, but you, you may know his wife or something like that. You might know one of his secretaries. Uh, Charles, right? Your name is Ch Charles. I, I remember. I remember uh, Martha mentioned uh, Martha mentioned you. How are you today? We have a proposition for you. Proposition? Why have you just disrupted the town like this? I am, uh, sir. I have to say that we have. A grand, a grand opportunity for you. It is the opportunity of, I wouldn't say a lifetime, but probably this month. Um, we would like to buy all these people. You have a goal. Buy. A, 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 go, a bulk going price, right? We want to buy all of these slaves. We don't even, it would take us two days to count them. We want to uh, buy their freedom. Well, we can give them our we give them their freedom after we pur after we purchase them. So you know, well, just... their freedom has a monetary cost. Oh, there's a monetary cost on top of on top of generally buying. Yeah, th there is a liberation quota. Oh, there's a liberation quota. Yeah, Why well, we, we can't have people sure. feeding their willy nilly. Really, like we're we talking here. There's a high quota or a low quota. It depends on if they're felons or not. Um, hey everybody, can you put your arms up and see who's a felon here or not? <laughs> Probably about a quarter of the arms go up. Like, like, uh, between serious felonies, please move to the left. Non serious <laughs> felonies, move to the right. No one moves. Frag. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well then. So liberation quota based on how many people how many people have actually committed horrible felonies. Gotcha. Well uh, then, do, well, no, do the you have... liberation quota is just a set monetary amount that they can pay off over time, or if they do commit some kind of crime, it's not only reset but increased. Thank you, thank you very much, Cloud. You're making this a, such a great such a great experience. <laughs> So it, yes, it it doesn't actually make that much difference. It's still a hen, 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 heinous amount of money. We I mean, my stammer is doing well tonight. It's we, actually fairly reasonable, especially heinous. given that they are actually paid. Heinous per person or heinous as for a the group. Entire, as, okay, a group. as a group, per person yes. is is probably I'd do say we, it's achievable. We, we have a presently a, a a a heinous plus a heinous amount of money, right? I mean, per person, you could probably free maybe 20 just on resources, three. I mean, don't we have, like, a big freaking ship of jade as well? Yeah. I mean, we, 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 we sell that ship down here. You don't deal in jade out here. We don't deal in jade? No, they're, they're on the silver standard. And uh, here you uh, might be able to find a, a J to silver, like um, money, money converter. I mean, you whatever could... happens, you can always just sell the jade. Yeah. Adam and it just says he just, just massages his temples very slowly. Yes, his entire situation has gotten so much more complicated than it already was. Okay, okay. So you want to buy the all these slaves freedom? You realize that would crash the economy, right? I mean, not to mention wreck the fields. Okay, so here's a yeah. question, my friend. I do. You see that man over there? The man with the the man with the sterling mustache and the uh, ver and the holy righteous uh, rights of purpose just ble bleeding off him. Yeah, it looks like my uncle. Yes. Um. So he, unfortunately, he, my friend, is like it, like a lot of people. He, uh, you should know that. So. And he has a big thing about slavery in general, and I'm... This Cloud's is, this just going to point out in the vague direction of the Jade Tower that we knocked over and say, you remember when all of that lit on fire? Yeah, um, so... That's like hundreds that, of miles away. There's no way you can just see the Jade. Well, okay, they can uh, probably see it from here. Let's be honest. So, my, my, my good, my darling, Ch um, Chuck, right? It was Chuck, right? Greg? Greg, Chuck? Um, yeah. It was... 
I should also note that probably this guy's some form of minor god. This, um, my my good, my good dear Tra uh, Craig Drag Fro uh, Krugman, um, <laughs> we're, this right here is preventing him for from getting the entire t from speaking with the word of uh, of the unconquered son to cause the entirety of every person in this town who would not who would be uncharitable towards this entire system to rise up and burn the fracker down. The moment you say the words "unch," you know, "untamed son" or what, you know, unconquered son, unconquered son, he basically shrinks back. Says, "You, you're them, aren't you?" Uh, no. Um, you, and you're, you're the yeah, anathema. The, sir, the, the ones who've been. Sir, 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 Okay, you're trying to calm him down now. Uh, what would that be? Charisma plus socialize, or yeah, what? charisma socialize, probably four because my god, you've burned Five. cities for less. <laughs> Um, let me see. Just for one. <laughs> that's that's a point. This guy probably remembers uh, the first. I mean, they could hear it out in Great Forks, right? How 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 loud we were. Probably. Yes. Do I have any? Do I have? I mean, I do know this man's wife, right? Can I get any? Uh, you can have a, any... you can have a bonus die for that. Yes. Ah, uh, fuck me. Stunt die. That's what they call it. Ah, uh, fuck. Gods. Much. Uh, you were doing so well until you said you were exalted. I didn't say I was exalted. <laughs> uh, well, no, no. I forgot to change my character for a bit, but I was wearing a disguise, but I'm not now. So. Okay. Hey, uh, by the way, I seem to have missed something. Why is Hello's name... Just That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that's not intentional. No. Why is 70... Uh, <laughs> it just goes to sixes. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> you have a cat, by chance. Unless that was me. Because I, I can alter that, but I don't no, think no. I was. My, my good friend, we're not, we don't mean exalt, we don't mean the anathema. I am saying it in the <laughs> blasphemous words that, that have how horrible that would be. Fuck. Why did I do that? We don't know. All right, how? Uh, this guy what? sees anathema every day. Why is he so scared of us? Because oh, wait, he has entirely valid reasons. To yes, I'm about to say, the whole, the whole you being anathema was fine. You being the specific guys who hate slavery and have... No, uh, us, cool. us being anathema isn't the issue. Us being us is the issue. Yes. I was trying so hard to, 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 to tell him that this is the better of two options. Right, so... I don't have... Why don't I not have socialized trained? Oh, yeah, it's because the guy who it actually does have it would want it, would burn it, would, uh... I mean, yeah. no, no, so speak to him, please! I don't know why he's freaking out! Explain to him very simply what's going to happen if he doesn't let us free all these slaves. Okay. I mean... Let's see. Comrades, commanders and political instructors, men and women, the whole world is looking to you as a force capable of destroying the brigand hordes of the guild invaders. The enslaved people of the Riverlands, under the yoke of the guild, are looking to you as their liberators. A great mission of liberation has fallen to your lot. Be worthy of this mission. The, way, the war you are waging is a war of liberation, a just war. Here we go again, episode title. Well, I'm inspired. <laughs> well, this is in the, this is about uprising at this moment. Or... Okay, can I just go rewind back to when we start this episode and we said, oh, we'll just do a little bit of groundwork, shan't we? We'll sneak in, we'll get some plans, we'll set it all up. Now, here we go, starting another revolution. I, I, no, we haven't. Oh. I was working on that, and then my friend uh, here decided to go straight to the slave quarter. Well, uh, that wasn't to start a slave revolt. That was actually to try to convince people to my cause of freeing the slaves. So yep. I'm not ordering people to attack. So not, basically, not... you're telling these people, hey, 
be cool, don't be assholes, and, you know, things will work. Yep. Fuck the guild. Yes. Yep, yep. and everyone is listening. Uh, I'm going to do a... Um... Do a quick paranoia check to make sure the recording is working. We are definitely recording. It's just fine. Okay. I have that up in a whole its own window now. Mm-hmm. And I can see it's whether I kill it on uh, ending, which is the problem at the moment. That's the that's the big worry. Um, do we have a mortals? It's got to be at least a kind of like minor functry guy I can get some stats for. Let me look. Um, there's an elder. An elder might work. Hermitage now, some more of a. Uh... Oh, I might just roll some dice. Let's just roll some dice. No harm in rolling dice. Yeah. Let's see how we. D10. I always, I always want to say roll. I never don't know why I always want to take roll. Because in basically every other one, it does take roll. Yeah, why this one needs every... dice. Why do people let me do the talking? Well, it's he's probably not going to scream. And more that you don't give us the chance to stop you. Uh. Alright, so he's he's probably actually going to be swayed slightly with this. So, you know. He's... He's gonna listen, so you've kind of you've stopped him calling the cards on you. You've basically convinced him that you know maybe we don't actually need the guild slavery to make this place prosper. I mean, the 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 entire idea of a good economy is to make sure that every man, every person can contribute to it and have their own means to. To, to to allow it to grow. Every man a uh, a man of his own castle type deal. Yep, the means of production should be distributed widely. Means of production shall be in the hands of those who work who those who work them as well as uh, those who create them. Yep. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and Mouse just starts we, talking a great about, oh, well, let's automate the fields. I don't know how we'll do it, but let's do it. I mean, we're exalted. We'll figure it out on the way. But, yeah, but, but in the first stage, everything was automated. Let's go back to that. That was cool. I thought we had a lot more like people who knew what the hell they were doing in the first stage, so it took a lot of more intellectual uh, innovation to figure that out. Yeah, and we're not going to do that while we have slavery. So, but we would need more. We would need more innovators to do so. So we need actually to find more people who can actually. Maybe we can actually get some dragon blood going or something like that. I mean, hmm. there are probably more than a few dragon blood kicking around. Great for us. I mean, we yeah. can always just make our own dragon blood. No, we couldn't. No, really. You, you sort of need bloodlines to do that, and don't we start bloodlines technically? Need dragon blood to get bloodlines. I thought you. I thought. I thought as exalted, we could start our own dragon uh, bloodlines. Uh, no. My knowledge. I have no idea. Well, it's it has to do with the godly spirit. Like in the mm. dragon blood, the godly spirit is a part of them, and in us, it's like a separate thing. Ah, uh, okay. So I we can't was... pass it on. Oh, I thought that was how the that was how it was done originally. Was that they had the exalted, and the exalted had the terrestrial. They made the terrestrials just for you know. Good old fashioned geneal genealogy. Well, that might be how it used to work, but now, no. We're not talking about breeding programs. Gotcha. Let's continue on. But for that <laughs> awkwardness. Um, yes. Uh, fuck, where are we talking about? Oh, yes. We're, um, not doing. So, yeah. So he's, um, yeah, you might just talk him around. He's, he's listening again. You know, fr freeing people. That sounds like a good idea. Um, there is, of course, the um, the problem, problem of monetary recompense. You know, that's not not my job. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, I have to report up to people with higher levels who may have just sensed that you know someone's doing a bit of a uh, a number on people. We have to go talk to the auditors. No, no, no. I, I can deal with it. We just have to like hash out a There's deal. There's a lot of paperwork. A lot of paperwork. Claude, were you our for your accuracy guy or? No, no, that's that's, that's uh, Zebrin. I know, I, I know Zebrin's highest roll is eleven dice for bureaucracy. Or oh, I can find his character sheet. I'm pretty sure my bureaucracy right now is probably if it's a manipulation roll five. I can look. I can steal like the eyes, the jewels out of a god's eye, but I can't. Don't don't ask me to file my taxes. I think his sheet's a bit messed up because it says it's I, free. I have a manservant to do my taxes. Mm-hmm. I avoid my taxes. What are you talking about? I mean, do uh... Do you even um, have taxes <clears throat> down there? None that I ever paid. Okay, so Zeb has got Yocracy 4, Specialties in Commerce, which I think this kind of falls under free. And then... This would come to a manipulation, probably, wouldn't it? Actually, if you uh, charisma or manipulation, intelligence. intelligence free. Well, if he's doing paperwork. So nine dice. Doesn't he have specs? Doesn't he have most to spend as well for charms? Possibly. Let's see what nine dice does first. Three successes. Not bad. Yeah, that'll get most of it underway. Um, yeah. Insightful buyer for free moats. First bureaucracy. Mo- um, Excellency. Yeah, I'm not sure what that does. Frugal merchant. Yeah, it's the same as it's the same thing as every other uh, Excellency. You can spend moats for uh, for more dice. Yeah, well, we'll throw another free dice, shall we? And the frugal merchant thing lets him get the best prices for it. Yeah. So no extras, but still. Yeah, so it's going to take... Oh, oh, for a second there, I thought that was a bodge. No, no, that's just me adding dice to the original one. <laughs> we haven't seen many botches, actually. We haven't had one earlier. many. Yeah. It's almost anyway. like having upwards of ten dice makes it really hard to get a bot. Yeah, true. So, you've, um, I'll say that it's going to take a couple of weeks. But that can be what um, Joy Sapphire is off doing for the rest of this episode. A couple of weeks gives us plenty of time yes. to go further downward. Basically, let's get this back on plot. We'll deal with this um, mistake later. <laughs> so, sorry we keep ripping you out of your crusades and all added, but we do actually have like plot have- to do sometimes. Oh, at sorry, least... I was just trying to fill time since there was only three of us. So. No, it's at fine. It, it's fine. Is not, I mean, at least Great Forks is not on fire. Yep. You are yeah. going to probably end up buying most of the slaves and then freeing them. And and then having to deal yep. with... I mean, having that, to deal with... On that, on that note, though, at least it will give us a pretty decent voting block. Yeah. Let's just... Get, wait, in Great Forks or in uh, Langra? We already yes. have the, the, the voting block in Langrod. Yeah. I was kind of wondering why we weren't just shipping them over to Langrod and saying, okay, you're free. Don't go back to Great Forks. Well, they still need them here. It's just they have to have yeah. working yeah, conditions. They still need the Look, labor. It's what just we're doing. Yeah. They actually have to pay them a decent wage. Yeah. No, no. Here, here's the thing we're doing right now. We can, we, we can do right now. And I'm sorry, Gray. This is going to be a little bit more shenanigans and canary. Okay. Is that now we have all this free manpower. We can start our own enterprise here. That would be Jack basically. And Hawkins. What's up? Thank you, Gray. As long as somebody said it. Yeah, with blackjack and hookers. With blackjack and hookers, and we can basically set up our own, uh, la- our own labor company. As in our own construction, basically construction company, or uh, you know, general labor task force company of hire of, hi- of a hiring service. I mean, and if we... all these people. If we organize all the former slaves and, like, you know, have them work as contractors for the fields, 
that would make it a lot right. easier to get fair treat. Just, just, just so I can just say we can get past this. I'm gonna mind if I buy some influence in this area here as this lar as a large uh, no, no, corporation. I'm, I'm happy to say we can carry on because I say you've I know, kind of I'm, you've kind of resolved this now. It's gonna take some time, but at least we can leave. And that's that the uh, ink. We're basically reorganizing the slave. I, Gray, I, Gray, I have bought two die, two dots of influence in Anathema Incorporated. Okay. Okay. There we go. Slaves have been handled. They're now free crap, free, tra free tradesmen. Oh, well, in a couple of weeks, anyway. We have already. Old thing. Please, everyone here with a with a criminal, uh, everyone here with a criminal felony history, come here. I have uh, other employment opportunities for you. Thank you very much. As Ad, as uh, Adam and his hire is uh, hiring people for his own organizations by, from from the felons. Yeah, and Mousif is just taking the people who are in his temple. It's like, okay, you're now all the uh, the chairs of your own Soviets. Have Soviet being a working committee. Uh, the working committee I'm working? Uh, the workers committee, sorry. I'm working, gotcha. All right. So there we, so so we have, I now have commercial investments in, in two four and in Great Forks. Sue's working on it, don't worry. Yeah. Now we have to go further down river and try to fuck up, you know, the army that we were supposed to be fucking. Up. Yeah, we were supposed to be getting some sort of like a means of entering um, Nexius. We have the guild ship. We were thinking of getting some uh, more materials that may make it easier. Yeah, Nexus is a it's a pretty metropolitan place. It's not like it's a like an army Boarded, gated community. We could just go in. Yeah, there's okay. docks. Okay, we can we can do that, and we all wear false mustaches. All right. The Groucho Marx glasses come out. Oh dear. Well. I'm going to, okay, before we, okay, um, when we're on the way there, I'm going to roll my dexterity manipulation to, uh, or dexterity not Mart Larceny, to, uh, make us all, give us all disguises. How's that, Gray? Because I remember they were looking, they, they were having people look for us, right? Yeah. Dexterity oh, yeah. plus Larceny plus, um, two, three. I'm going to add more, three more Larceny dice, so. That, that's how you make Mark's glasses, right? Like my portrait, right? Perfect. Yes. Yes. That's exactly how it works. Yes, you have you have you have the Marxist glasses gone right now. All right, five to six S's. We all have some form of disguise. Okay. Uh, my disguise is taking off, taking the taking the hood, the robe and hood off, so I look like um, this this burly gentleman over here in the exalt and uh, actually exalted. And oh, there we go. Good God. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have to share that, aren't I? Yep. You don't have to. No, it's required. Required. <laughs> right, so, as you move into the, um, towards the Nexus, you will, of course, pass where the army is forming. I'll be right back. Um... So, it seems they've got quite a decent sized army forming. Mm -hmm. uh, is it possible for me to roll context and social, socialize, manipulate, uh, socialize? Uh, you're not going to be stopping there. Okay. There we go. There you go for the people at home. This is what I look like. This is, this is 
adamant without the without the hood on, including the motorcycle. No one asks about the motorcycle. I just brushes it around everywhere. It just came out the back of the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the wagon. 